Welcome to the monthly economic update. I'm joined, as always, by Bob Kaneen. Welcome, Bob. Thanks, Jason. We've had a really interesting pickup in the rhetoric coming out of both Kim Jong Un and President Trump's office over the last week. How have you seen that impact markets? Well, share markets have weakened over recent days, and it's really a concern about this step up in rhetoric between North Korea and America. And it's somewhat reminiscent of what happened in 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis, where we had that tension between Russia and America over missiles. Here in this situation at the moment, it seems to be curbing risk appetite. So investors and traders are a little bit cautious about taking risk. And the share market is a very sensitive barometer of that. And we're seeing a pickup in the volatility index, the VIX? Yes, exactly. So with those concerns about the possibility of conflict, uh, less risk appetite, volatility starts to pick up, concerns about share market as a wise place for investment, that has its impact. If we go back a month though, this amid all this political um, turbulence, we, we've seen the US markets hit record highs. How are you seeing the US economy at the moment? Well, the US economy is performing quite strongly. So that's why the Federal Reserve has, has raised interest rates twice this year. Uh, we're seeing very solid jobs growth, unemployment's down at 4.3%. And from that point of view, it's a favourable environment for corporate profits. So for the June quarter, corporate profits were up about 9%. So that's good for Wall Street. And there's also the additional promises of uh, corporate tax cuts by President Trump that's also supporting the market. Right, and we've also seen back in Australia a strong rise in the Aussie dollar. Yep. Um, what's driving that? Well, the strong rise, it really reflects mainly the weak American dollar story. So in this situation that we have now, our key commodity prices such as iron ore and copper have risen quite strongly. Partly the global growth story, mainly the weak US dollar story from that point of view. And that's pushed the Australian dollar up towards 80 cents. Now, we probably think that's too positive a view on the currency itself, so we expect it to drift a little bit lower. And the Australian economy in general? The Australian economy is doing reasonably well. We've seen a pickup both in jobs growth and retail spending, and this indicates that the Reserve Bank's going to keep interest rates on hold. There's limited downside risk for another cash rate cut in Australia, and potentially, you know, 12 months, 18 months down the track, maybe the Reserve Bank will be raising interest rates. Great. Well, many thanks for your time again today. Mm -hmm.